My name is Chicho. I've been asked to do some instructional math videos, so here we are. The first thing you have to understand about mathematics, to really grasp it, to really understand how to do it, is that math is just a language. It's just like any other language. Instead of having letters, it's got numbers. Ten numbers to be exact. Zero all the way to nine. Every number that you're ever going to come across is going to be made up of those ten numbers. That's how easy math is. So keep that in mind as we continue. Every other course you take in your life, most of it anyway, is going to be teaching you brand new material from one year to the next. Math is different. Every year it just builds on to what you learned from the previous year. So what you learn in one year, when you go on to the next year, maybe they tag on an extra 20% information. That's it. Or 5% sometimes. Grade 8 to 9, it's the same course. There's two things you've got to consider before we go any further. Number one is that you're going to have to stop using a calculator as much as you are. You have to wean yourself off the calculator. To be able to really understand the language of mathematics, you have to learn the simple operations and be comfortable in working with numbers. The higher up you go in mathematics, in your education of mathematics, in trying to understand mathematics, the less you end up using the calculator. Um, so you need to learn how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And dividing is really just expressing numbers as fractions, which is really the rational number set. So the less you use the calculator, the easier math becomes. It may be hard at first, but uh, the sooner you do it, the better it will be. Uh, the simpler math will become, and the further you will progress, okay? The second thing you got to understand is that the corporate education system that's established right now is not here to completely educate you, but it's here to teach you what you need to learn to function within the society. So for you to be able to fully grasp uh, and be comfortable in using the language of mathematics, you have to educate yourself. Now. Why so much emphasis on math? Think about this. If you want to go to university, college, uh, polytechnical institute, or if you just want to educate yourself, two of the most important courses you'll ever take, two courses that you've got to do really well in, is math and English. That's what universities look at if you're going to go to them. Okay. The reason is they're looking for people who can communicate to others. Math. I've said before, and I'm going to continue to say it, it's just a language. So if you're able to communicate in English, and you're able to communicate in the language of science, then you can get new ideas across. You can understand other people's ideas. Okay. So for you to be able to excel in anything you want to do, you need to know how to communicate. And again, if math is a language, you're able to view things from a different perspective. Uh, which gives you more information so you can analyze something and uh, get the most you can out of it or get more out of it than if you just saw it from one perspective which would be uh, English or the non-math version. Okay? So if you're looking at it from here and if you're looking at it from here you see two different things. Okay? Uh, so learn your math. It's super important. Uh, it'll make life easy. be able to go from here to here, uh, there's certain steps you take uh, to get the job done. So all you need to do is learn those steps in the right order to get to the right answer. Um, now just like skateboarding, there, um, you know, once you learn a trick, you're not constantly thinking about, okay, you gotta get down with your right foot and kick out with your left foot and do all this stuff. You don't think about it anymore. It just becomes a uh, part of you. Uh, and math is the same way. Once you learn how to do certain operations and go through a certain process, uh, you won't have to sit there and constantly think about, oh yeah, I've got to carry the number up here, or do this, or do this, or do this. Uh, it just becomes natural. And the more math you do, the easier it becomes because the more tricks you learn. Uh, and the more math courses you take, the more teachers you have, and the different perspectives you see and all of a sudden certain things will make sense 
Now, um, for me, I, you know, when I took uh, calculus at university, my first first time I took it, I failed it. Uh, the second time I took it, I, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just going through a routine and trying to get the answer. And you know, most of the time, you know, if you learn a certain routine, if you don't know how to do it, uh, you know, you'll get you know, you'll get an average mark. Um, now, when I was taking this course, for the first two months of the course, um, I was just going through a routine. I had no idea what I was doing. I don't, I don't know why I was doing it. Uh, one day, I sat there at the library and read through the books, um, through the textbook, and I kept on doing the problems, doing the problems, and all of a sudden, boom, it just made sense. And, it was, you know, it was an epiphany. It was just like, oh, my God, what? So... This was about a quarter way through the course, so what I ended up doing is going back to the beginning and looking over everything from the beginning again, and it just became ridiculously easy. It just became stupid. I couldn't, like, I, I was baffled why I didn't understand it before. Um, so initially, it might be hard, uh, but don't worry about it. The more you do it, all of a sudden, it will just... You know, there'll be a moment where it just automatically makes sense. And all of a sudden, you've taken care of a whole bunch of stuff you never understood. And you can go on to the next phase. Um, it's just exactly like doing a trick. Uh, once, you know, you might practice it forever. And then you might have to step away from it and do something else. And doing that something else... Uh, you know, you learn something that will help you in this trick, and you come back to this the trick you didn't get before, and all of a sudden it's just like, boom, you nail it, and then you keep on nailing it. And uh, that's it. You just, uh, you know, continue on that way. And you continually grow and learn uh, and become better at it, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're doing the stuff. Uh, don't worry about it if you don't understand why you're doing everything or why certain things are, are you know, are a certain way. Uh, the more you learn... Um, the further back you can go and really understand the little intricate details of it, okay? So just do the work right now. It'll take you a few weeks or a few months, you know. Uh, and uh, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll make sense uh, in the long run, okay? Good luck. And don't forget, continue to do the problems and the exercises.